So Harding has to be my favorite town we've been to yet in Columbia. Surrounded by these mountains, so much greenery, the bird life is incredible. The town has such a local feel too. Good morning and welcome to Hardin, Colombia. Hardin is a small coffee town in the south of the Antioquia estate. We actually arrived here yesterday by bus. We took a bus from Guatapé to Medellín. And then we took a second bus from Medellín to Hardin. We left around 9.30 a.m. and arrived at Hardin around 4.30 p.m. So a fairly easy travel day although those mountain roads can get very curvy, so definitely be prepared for that. Check out those amazing views of the church. So there are tons of things to see and do here in Harding. We're starting off with the cable car to give you guys some amazing views of this city. It's not your typical cable car. It looks more like a wooden box. Let's go check it out. All right, Sammy, you ready to go? <laughs> yes. I can't believe Tommy convinced me to go in this little I don't know, death box? I saw a picture of it online. It's literally like a wooden box, you guys, so. We heard it's really safe from the locals. It hasn't crashed in over 20 years. Has it crashed at all? I'm just joking, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Let's, I think it's like an eight minute walk from here. So this cable car, or La Garucha, Garucha? La Garucha. Garucha. <laughs> so this cable car opens at 9.30 every morning. It costs 10,000 to go up and back down per person. It holds four to five people and it leaves every half an hour. So it looks like they upgraded from the wooden box to a metal box now. I'm still scared. I don't care how many updates they made. <laughs> it's still so tiny. And it goes over this deep, deep ravine. <laughs> I'm scared. This is just weird. Gracias. Oh my gosh. It's wobbly. Oh my god. It's already shaking and we haven't even started going yet. What do you think, Tommy? I love it. I'm ready. You're not scared? No. It's been going for 28 years. I've only fallen one time. My legs are shaking a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> One of this. Wow, what an amazing view, huh? Oh my gosh. You can see the whole town from up here. Wow. I'm still like from that ride. <laughs> the view is absolutely incredible.
So Harding has to be my favorite town we've been to yet in Columbia. Surrounded by these mountains, so much greenery, the bird life is incredible. The town has such a local feel too. We're gonna to walk around and show you that later on. There's this epic looking church. It stands out wherever you're looking at the town. You can see it from the drone or the shots up here. Wow. Is she ready to get coffee or juice? What are you feeling? I think maybe a fruit juice, if they have a juice. A ton of coffee. <laughs> they all be crazy with the coffee. Sammy, this is the only juice they have. Oh, pink. Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. What flavor is it? I don't know. <laughs> Why? Okay. Something with a G. Guava. Is it guava? Maybe. Definitely guava. Ooh. Is it good? Yeah. I mean, it's not fresh, but it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a soda, right? Yeah. Did you get something? Yeah, coffee. To uh, our new favorite town, Hardeen, with okay. a beautiful view. So we're trying out the local coffee here. This region's known for all their coffee. I made sure that it was the good stuff too before I ordered it. So nice, you don't need any sugar for the coffee here in Colombia. It's always so delicious. Hits the spot. Real quick, I wanna give a big thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Exter. For the past few months, Sam and I have been loving our extra wallets. I'll never go back to the old traditional thick style wallet. These extra wallets are super light and slim, making it perfect for travelers like us. It is super easy to have access to my ID and cards with just one little click. How sweet's that? Extra has many options on the website. I prefer the carbon fiber version. It's super light, durable, and I hardly notice it in my pocket. I've been using the Senate wallet in Jupiter Green and I absolutely love it. I love that extra wallets provide the ultimate safety and security with built-in RFID and the optional tracking card. This solar powered card charges in two to three hours and the battery lasts for almost three full months. I can ping my phone or my wallet at any time and the tracking card can even be used as a selfie photo remote. These wallets are packed full of technology and perfect for minimalists like us who are always on the go. Right now, Exer is having their Black Friday sale until November 27th, so go ahead and click the link in the description box below to receive up to 40% off your purchase. Now let's get back to the video. What a great first stop of the day. I'm about to head back down the rickety death machine now. <laughs> Just joking, it's super safe. I think she has the tickets. Oh, the tickets? So, <laughs> back in again. Oh gosh. and sound. Oh my god. I think this is my favorite cable car we've ever ridden. Oh, you think? So? Okay. Gracias. Oh, gracias. We made it back safe. Wow, that was an amazing way to start the day. A little rickety, but it was kind of exciting. Makes your heart start pumping. After that delicious coffee, we're gonna head into town, show you guys a little bit of town, and get some lunch. You see so many murals in town of the birds around here. And later, Sammy is super excited. We're actually gonna go into a sanctuary to see some birds. Hopefully we see a couple of these that are on the wall. This one is called a moat moat. Diego told us about him on our horseback riding tour. He did. And I really wanna see one, so. Let's hope we're lucky. Yeah. How you doing, boy? What a good dog.
Jesus. Hardeen definitely takes the cake for having the most colorful, colorful square here in Colombia that we've been to so far. So it's pretty cool in this main central plaza here. They have a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of food stalls and tables and chairs laid out everywhere. So many great views. Just enjoy all the greenery. Wow, this town's so beautiful. I love the square. We just ran into our Airbnb host who was having coffee on her day off, which was nice. It started to rain on us though, so perfect timing. We're gonna grab some lunch. Okay, so we decided to eat at La Feria. This town is known for the trucha, so obviously that's what we're gonna order and have today. We got two fish. We ordered the trucha, which is a local fish, and then we also ordered the mojada, which is going to be fra a fried fish, and that one comes from the Magdalena River, which is nearby. But we wanted, we wanted to get both of them to try them both, so. What kind of drink do we get? And Tommy and I have been on this like lemonade kick lately. The lemonade here is amazing. We've ordered it with cherry before and we've ordered it with the lemonada de coco, but this restaurant has lemonade with mint. Look how pretty that is. It's so beautiful. We just can't get enough of the juices and the lemonades here. They're so delicious. This is the best one yet. Is it really? Yeah. It <laughs> looks like we have a starter of a fried patacon with like a warm salsa on it. Mm, it smells really yummy. Mm, it's really good. It's kind of hot though. It's tart. Gracias. Wow. going in for the fried fish first. I can't remember the last time I've eaten fried fish like this. Wow, that fish is so flaky and crunchy on the outside with that lime on top. Mm, so delicious, I'm hungry, let's eat. So I got the local trucha, which is the trout. Looks like it's just grilled. This is local right from the river. So light, salty, delicious. The piece behind the head is always the best. I remember that from Costa Rica. Is it time to pay? Another thing to do here in Jardín is to visit Reserva Natural Gachita de las Rocas or something like that. It's a place where you can go and see the Andean Cock of the Rock. I know it's just a bird. I told some locals that I wanted to go see this bird and they kind of gave me some interesting looks, but I want to see it and we're here, so we're going to go see it. So Sammy's a little too excited to see this cock of the rock. So the reserve is open from 3 to 5.30 every single day. It's only an eight minute walk from town, so we're walking there now. Wow, I thought we were gonna have to come down here and like wait and look off into the distance to try to find this bird. No, as soon as we walk down this trail, the birds are everywhere in the trees and they're so brightly, vibrantly colored red with like black and gray feathers on their back. 
and they're just like sitting in the trees with the green backdrop. It's absolutely beautiful. You can hear them like squawking at each other. And so this reserve is essentially this lady's backyard. We paid her 10,000 Colombian pesos to come behind her house. And she's like set in the jungle and the birds are just everywhere behind her house. I can imagine that it gets pretty noisy sometimes, but we're enjoying that. I mean, it's so beautiful. You guys know I'm colorblind, so it's hard for me to see the red versus the green backdrop, but I just listen for them. The squawking, you can't miss them. I feel like they're competing for a female. They're kind of battling it out and fighting each other. Her grounds are super beautiful as well. There's so many gardens and flowers and beautiful trees. Wow, what a great stop. Yeah. All right, made it back to our place. Let's give you guys the room tour. We want to show you around the beautiful property that we've been staying at. It's called Villa Adiela. It overlooks this gorgeous coffee plantation. I believe they also grow plantains and bananas here as well. There is not a bad view at this place. Let me show you all the seating areas. Seating area number one. Seating area number two. This is the seating area, I guess number three, that we've turned into our workspace. This is the game area with lots of local board games. This one's called La Cucaracha, the cockroach. This is the beautiful kitchen area where we've been having breakfast every morning. Breakfast is included in the price of the stay and it includes scrambled eggs with vegetables, arepa, cheese, hot chocolate, coffee, all the yummy things. The coffee is actually delicious. It's from, she says it's from this coffee farm, right, Tommy? I believe so, or from the area. Oh, single origin, it's from the area, and you can actually buy it. But we've been drinking every morning, and it is so delicious. Okay, the next seating area. The best seating area, in my opinion, is this three, four? I'm not even sure what we're at. There is not a bad view in this place, and this is just, so relaxing overlooking the beautiful views and the best part the jacuzzi right in front of us the jacuzzi seating area the hammock area it also has a heating lamp if you get cold it does get pretty chilly at night there's this fun thing i think like a swing what do they call this swing bed there's this swing bed <laughs> there's a swing bed with a beautiful view I've never sat on one of these trampoline things before and I'm kind of nervous, but I saw two people laying on it earlier and it held both of them. And they have this trampoline. Okay, that's enough for me. The reason why people come to Hardeen is to get out in nature and this is the perfect place to stay, overlooking the beautiful coffee farms surrounded by nature, beautiful flowers and gardens. If you come to Hardeen, definitely stay at Via Adiella and I promise you, you will not regret it. <laughs>